hey my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon here so do you want to know what are the top 10 things that you should be doing on social media to build a brand to do attraction marketing to do marketing online the right way so I'm gonna show you the top 10 tips on social media marketing in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are strategies techniques and tools that you to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets so what is it that you need to be doing on social media if you're trying to build a brand right if you're trying to grow your business if you're trying to sell courses if you're trying to do anything on social media there's things you should and things you shouldn't be doing and when we look at most people especially if you haven't been on social media for a while you're not necessarily going to know what you know what you should do or what you shouldn't do and if you've been using social media as a person as you know just for personal use to you know uh, let your family see pictures and things like that maybe you're not doing the right things either if you're trying to build a business because it's really not the same thing and one of the things that happens a lot is that we think that when we go on social media and we start to do a business we should be doing like businesses do right we think that because that's what we see everywhere we see on advertising we see on tv we see here in the radio see in the newspapers we think that whatever they're doing must be what we should be doing so we start doing that plus they even tell you to do these things now I'm not going to get into what not to do because that's a separate topic but right now we're going to talk about what you should be doing you'll be able to get, figure out a lot of it by just understanding what I'm talking about here so let me just uh, share my screen if you're of course uh listening to this on a podcast or an audio you won't be able to see my screen but also I'll try to describe what I'm seeing here so what I'm showing here is my blog okay my blog site I've been posting blogs I mean I just restarted uh, but before <coughs> before a few months ago it was almost every day I did kind of stop for a while and now I'm back but as you can see I've got you know blog posts here that talk about different things you know should you grow your followers fast how to create an Alexa skill podcast um how do you know how do you oh, I just said that why is consistency so important then how to get an influencer to contact you how to build your brand and business online the right way I mean there's all sorts of different uh, topics in here of course you are welcome to go check that out it's jeansergegagnon.com and um but yeah so I mean here's the thing so the top 10 skills you know you can get a free book I have anyways I'm not gonna whatever so <laughs> I just want to tell you what are these top 10 skills right so this is skills that I came up with <clears throat> that are basically what uh other marketers more or less talk about online the number one would be to set a good profile picture right you want to make sure that you have a profile picture that is of you of your face not of somebody else not of a couple or of your dog or anything like that it's a picture of you right because you want people to be able to recognize you and it should be a good profile picture because it has to be something that people can recognize right the next thing that you want is you want to make sure you create your posts and make them public I see so many people on social media they're posting these awesome posts but they're not making them public they're making them private to their friends or to groups so you know if you have a business aren't you going to uh, take the make the wind make windows if you're so people can see inside so you can see what kind of business you have well that's the same thing if you don't make things public on social media it's kind of like if you were to put some drapes and nobody could see inside your business they wouldn't want to walk in unless they already knew you right and that's the whole point of <clears throat> being public is that you want people that don't know you to see what you're about that's why you do your post public don't post a company or product name that's number three so I mean you really don't want to be talking about your com uh, the company you're with or the business or the brand you want to be branding yourself now of course if you're trying to brand a business like a coffee shop or something like that or a or a pizza shop or uh, you know things like that then maybe you do want to talk about that particular business but the thing is that when you're trying to build on social media people don't care about businesses people care about people 
so they want to know about you they want to learn who you are and why they would want to do business with you and then when you talk about your restaurant then they would be interested in hearing about the restaurant because they know you but if you just talk about your restaurant all the time they're going to know that all you care about is your business so if you're doing a home-based business it's the same thing you really do not want to uh, talk about that in your um, <clears throat> day-to-day stuff because people can search for it and there's all sorts of reasons uh, you can get into more details into that uh, ebook like I was saying number four choose a single strategy when you're building a bit uh, when you're trying to build your audience trying to grow a list trying to brand yourself on social media you want to be doing something and really really get good at it learn the strategy like me I do all sorts of things because I've done lots of stuff and I'm doing it regularly and I've learned all the different pieces I'm putting it all together but you know when you're starting out especially when you're starting out you want to do one thing so you want to do Twitter you want to do Facebook you want to do YouTube you want to do LinkedIn you want to do TikTok just do one thing get really good at it start to get customers and sales from that strategy before you start to focus on something else (laughs) so that's that's what I mean by one strategy the next thing is brand your name that's if you're doing it on social media you want to be branding your name that's number five brand your name because branding your name makes people interested in you because and like I said people are interested in people they're not interested in businesses so you want to be branding your name uh the number six is be congruent so you have to be the same reverse if you're going to be setting up a Twitter account a Facebook account a LinkedIn account a a TikTok account a Snapchat account an Instagram account a YouTube um, uh, uh, Pinterest I mean all those social media platforms make it the same now I'm not saying to use those platforms because we did say about the single strategy but you want to be the same reverse so the same profile picture the same tagline the same bio the same the same profile uh, name if you can the same back uh, cover photo they have a cover photo the same content so that it looks the same people can recognize who you are when they go from one to the other number seven define your dmo your daily method of operation what are you going to do every day what are you going to do every week the things that you're going to do just keep it because you you want to be consistent you want to be the same you want to do the same things everywhere I'm trying to see if I have um yeah so you know you want to be doing the same thing and you want to learn the basics of all that stuff whatever say you're saying okay I'm going to post on Facebook every single day I'm going to post a quote around 9 a.m I'm going to post a picture around noon and I'm going to post a text-based story around 4 p.m right so I mean you do that every day and you're and maybe you're just posting one thing a day maybe you're posting one thing a day but one of the things you do every day is spend 15 minutes going through your your news feed and liking and commenting on other people's stuff right whatever it is that you do and there's lots of stuff you can do just be congruent do define it this is what I'm going to do every day this is what I'm going to do every week right that kind of stuff number eight engage on everything so whenever somebody comments on your stuff make sure you comment back whenever somebody uh shares your thing make sure you tell them thanks for sharing if they send you a message make sure you reply to a message if they like your page make sure you t- you go like their page if they have one just engage on everything so just make sure that people know you're there they see your activity they see you doing things they see you being active right <clears throat> so number nine connect daily so every single day try to connect with a few more people like it can be five it can be ten that's that could be part of your dmo like every day I'm going to connect with five new people right you go through your Facebook or LinkedIn whatever profile uh, strategy or platform you're using you go through and connect with new people it can be through messaging it can be through comments on posts of people in groups that you've never you're not connected with it can be it's lots of different things but connect daily to grow your audience and finally number 10 is learn the 80 20 rule so whenever you're posting on social media you don't want to be talking about your business like I said but even then if you want to promote something you want to do that only 20 percent of the time even 10 percent of the time the 80 20 rule means 80 percent of the time you give value you give 
you give entertainment you give <clears throat> things that people with no expectations and 20 percent of the time you post something where you're asking them for something in return so it could be click this link send me your email go to this page those kinds of things you're asking them to do something so that's 20 percent of the time and like I said you could do 90 10 90 percent of the time value 10 percent asking for things or promoting things <clears throat> and uh, so that's really what it is so that like I said the 10 the 10 strategies I'm now on this page you can see if you're watching the video you can see that I'm talking about top simple online strategies strategy number one set a good profile picture number two make your profile public number three don't post company and product name number four choose a single strategy number five build your brand number six be congruent number seven define your dmo number eight engage on everything number nine connect daily and number 10 learn the 80 20 rule now these are simple online strategies that I put together in an ebook called top 10 simple online strategies which you can get by just going to masterofsimple.com or you just go to my blog there's going to be a link for that um, <clears throat> or you go to a course income click ecourse it's going to be in there too right over here the top 10 simple online strategies you just go to click ecourse I mean I've got it everywhere you could probably search for it top 10 simple online strategies you'll find it as well <clears throat> but you know we j I just want to talk give you the tips on social media marketing is really the same thing it's all about the you know the 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 the, the things you need to be doing on social media that is different than what you would normally do if for a regular business you're trying to do marketing you're trying to do sales you're trying to do ads that kind of stuff I mean those are things that are not the same on <clears throat> regular businesses and social media it's different things are different on social media things are different on social media because social media is all about people it's all about connections it's all about <clears throat> you know um knowing um <clears throat> what everybody is interested in right it's what are their interests are they interested in cats and dogs are they interested in traveling are they interested in in in, in saving money for their for their kids are they interested in in re going to restaurants eating eating healthy are they interested in exercising what are they interested in right them as a person not as a business not as a how much money they make how much money they can spend on on your stuff just what are they interested in right so let's just go back to the webcam here so yeah so I mean that's the thing so in in social media it's all about people right and when we talk about building a brand online to sell something to build a business we're talking about building a personal brand you are the brand that you're building because people will connect with people so you build a brand around you <laughs> we talk about lots of different things uh, from people like Russell Brunson who talks about uh, your attractive character he talks about email lists he talks about you know there's so many things and I could talk about so many things I could show you so many things I mean I've got <clears throat> this simple online strategy the way that I've got it set up it's an ebook right it's a free book you get it for free you go to and I'm not telling you this to get you to go get it of course I'd love it but the point is I want to tell you what I what's set up what you can do do as well right so so what it is is an ebook here let me show you <coughs> let me show you exactly what it is so that if you're able to view the video you can see it and if you're listening to the audio just go to the blog at the end I give a, a link <coughs> to the page uh, and you can go get the video and watch the video but uh, so basically you know it's a it's on my blog I have this link here I got this top 10 simple online strategies when I click on that it takes me to this page which is where you can become a master of simple you just put your name and email you get the free ebook now the ebook <coughs> is uh, available through here so if I go there I see the ebook now of course you could you could go and copy that but that wouldn't be you, you wouldn't get the rest of the experience right so this is the ebook contains all of it in there right so it contains the top the top 10 simple online strategies which also marketing what do you do in so social media marketing how how do you do it right and <clears throat> and then when you subscribe you also get these 10 emails through my email marketing uh 
strategy right uh, so and you also have access to this website with all these other courses it's all connected right and that's the thing right you want things to be all connected what is it that you do to get your customers to get to connect with you right it's this is the kind of stuff you eventually get to that point where you have all these different things that are all connected if you need help getting all that going of course reach out I'll help you with that I would love to help you with that just uh, let me know <clears throat> but start here start there if you're if you're not sure go get this ebook and get the top 10 simple strategies do them one at one at a time learn the things and you'll get to where you're going it will happen I promise you it will happen all, all you got to do is one step at a time and you get to the end all right we'll see you in the next episode this has been Course Income Secrets, the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. I hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.